how much emphasis was placed on winning the North? I mean, you had teams that competed for Big 12 titles and BCS games, but did that kind of start with, with winning the North? Uh, you, know, you know, players are, you know, players are different. I mean, when you ask players, they'll talk about how we're talking about, you know, winning this and winning that and you know, all that goes along with it. But that's, that's never been my approach. That doesn't mean they listen to my approach. It just means that that hasn't been. And, uh, you know, I, I think I've been consistent in that respect. That, you know, we don't spend any time talking about, you know, winning the North or, or anything else for that matter. Uh, you know, what we talk about is today's practice and the upcoming game. And uh, so, you know, placing emphasis on that is... You know, it's just always been my feeling. You, you better take care of what you're doing today if you want some of those positive things to take place, you know, at the, at the, towards the end of the season. Uh, so that's just our approach anyway. Does that change at all during, when it gets closer to the end of the season? Do you go over what what lies ahead or anything? Or what what is that out there for them? Or is it the big picture? Well, I, you know, I've, uh, I, I know this. You know, players... They stay tuned. I mean, they know what's going on. They, they know what other teams are doing. They know where they stand and standings and, uh, you know, what lies ahead. So, uh, number one, I don't totally avoid it. Uh, you know, I, I, I want them to understand that I'm also aware of it. Uh, but we just don't put great in. I, I try to reel them back in and say, you know, you, you know, you'd like to you see these things are possibilities for you. and That's where you'd like to be. Uh, here's what it's going to take. And it starts with today. Have you had to do that at all this week? Hear somebody talking about, you know, winning the North or something, and have to remind them that you better focus on this week? Yes, we've had that conversation. So does a game like a &M reinforce efficiencies, perhaps even more than a good practice? Well, uh, yeah, interesting question. I think what it reinforces is uh, is the combination of being able to uh, stay tremendously focused during the course of a uh, of a ball game for you know 70 snaps or 60 snaps or whatever number an individual takes and and being able to process information that he has as it relates to assignments and keys and reactions uh, prior to each snap. Pretty tedious process. And, and, and then that only takes place. I mean, if you do that uh, and you do it consistently, you're probably going to perform as well as you're capable of. And consequently, collectively as a team, you probably will play reasonably well. Uh, but you can't do that unless you learn how to do it. I mean, we're all a product of, of what we what we practice, and if you don't practice doing that on Monday through Friday, uh, you're probably not going to do it on Saturday. 